Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. Splat out. Good morning, Maniac. So now that we have finished the roof of the bus, about 90%, 99%, we're going to go ahead and start going to the bottom of the bus. We're going to start trying to see what we can do about what we can do about uh, building our own storage containers. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Hold up. Okay, disclaimer, we have no idea what we're doing as usual everything else we've done we've kind of had a plan and had like an envision that we were working towards but for this one we really are just trying to figure it out as we can go a lot of people buy those uh, truck bed storage toolboxes things like that but that's just out of our budget um, a lot of people also weld and that's just not in our skill set right now and we don't have access to it in a reasonable manner so we are going to try to build storage units underneath the bus that are not welded and are self-made. So this is going to be very interesting. Okay, so here's the general idea we're working with right now. We plan on building two five foot by two foot by two foot three inch storage units and then mushing them together because we are using these to build the frame. This will allow us to be able to screw them together and attach them without having to weld. Oh yeah. You guys better get ready for a whole lot of grinding footage. So, this was my first cut all over the place. This is my last cut. A little bit more precise. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. yeah. So I went ahead and cut the pieces to the size that I needed. And what I'm doing right now is just putting them together roughly just to see what I need to do if I need to grind them down a little bit or if they're good as it is. angle irons uh, that are going to go fit like this that are held together by 5 16 bolts um, so yeah right now we're just going to do a dry fit and see what it looks like see kind of some of the things that we haven't thought about like maybe where it sits on the chassis and what we should do next I want to go ahead and show you what I use and how to do it. So we have four five foot pieces that we bought. Exactly five feet. So you're going to make up the bottom and the top. Now, out of this eight foot piece, eight foot piece, we're going to cut four two feet sections. Those are going to go along the sides. And then after that, we got to cut the pieces that are going to go across. Those are going to be two feet three inches and we have two more of these five feet sections that are going to make up the sides and the top. Now you might be questioning, what about this bottom piece right here? We have one extra piece that we, uh, we're we going to use to go ahead and cut in half and place it in the middle for extra support. 
On top of that, we're gonna hold everything together with one inch 5 16 bolts, just like we've been using for everything else, and 5 16 nuts. And eventually, we're gonna go ahead and thread lock that sucker up. Thread lock for everything. Uh-oh, get ready again. Here's another epic grinding montage. for the side pieces. You have a side piece? No. This two should be the last two pieces that I'll need except for the ones in the middle for support. So I'm just going to go ahead and build the frame without the support and I'll show you what that looks like. cut this piece in half so we can have it for extra support on the underbelly storage. Don't you worry folks, we've got you. One last grinding montage. Look like one of those go-go cage dancers. Ooh. I would not look know what that looks like. Oh. Fit so many bodies in there, baby. So many bodies. Bow body. Bow body. Bow body. Bow body. What does it go for? What does it stand for? Bow body. What does B stand for? Oh. A lot of storage, right? So what we have to figure out now is basically how to bolt it onto the bus. There's a lot of videos on that. There's a couple of videos on that, so we'll be doing our, our homework this week. Not only that, but how to actually line this up with metal. Uh, we plan to use the leftover metal from the roof that we took out, so hopefully that will be enough. And then along with that, how to build the doors and lock them and make sure that everything is secure while it's in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If there is anything you think we should do differently, if there's any tips, advice, comments that you have on this, leave it down below. Please let us know. We're re literally reading your comments as, we will, as we're building them because we're caught up with all of our videos. Thank you so much for watching part one of our underbelly storage series. And stay tuned for part two where we do everything else that you write in the comments. On top of that, don't forget to check us out in our social medias. 
our Instagram, our Facebook, our blog, our Snapchat, our our everything else. And also, don't forget to enjoy life, stay positive, and keep going, princess. Sucker!